Texas Wargaming, we're doing game three of the slow grow campaign between the Emperor's Children and World Eaters. Um, this time we're doing a thousand points, so we've done the 500 and the 750, they will be linked below. So we're into the thousand point game. We're still going to do it on a four by four board, um, so we're not stepping up to the, the big boys board until we go up to 1500, which is points, which is the next one. So we're going to quickly go through. The Empress Children's list, um, obviously it's very much the same. We've just added, so I'll tell you what we've added and I'll quickly go through stuff. So we've added the Predator with two Laz Cannons and a Predator Auto Cannon. And we've added a Blast, I think they're called Blast Masters, on the Empress Children. So they've sort of got the heavy, heavy version of the Sonic Blaster. Um, and Demon Prince with wings, we've actually got wings on it now. Um, is the Warlord and he's got the Warp Bolter and he's got the Unholy Fortitude Warlord trait so he gets an extra wound and a 6 up feel no pain and he also has the Intoxicating Elixir which gives him an extra attack and an extra strength and then um, Psychic Powers with taking Diabolic Strength and obviously Smite then the Sorcerer has got um, Delightful Agonies and Prescience as well as Smite um, and then we've got the Obliterators and the two units of Noise Marines and then the Chaos Cultists to uh, make up the Battalion. So I've got eight command points. Um, last game was a draw. Mm. The first game, the Empress Children won. So that means that Mike has two more points going into, two more command points going into the 2,000-point uh, game. Nice. Um, so we're going to see... We're going to go into the World Eaters list, and I hope, uh, so we're still doing this in the short form, hopefully we're going to get some sort of like key roles in there, if if the Demon Princes have a big battle again, we're definitely going to get the uh, the roles for that, um, and the reactions, and we're also hoping to do the final 2000 point game as a full battle as well. So we'll go on to the, the World Eaters list. <laughs> Hello Internet, it's me, Gloggy, representing the World Eaters got corn army thousand points um, building on what I had before so I've got my 10 space marines uh, one with a heavy bolter and I've got nine berserkers this time and an exalted champion the berserkers have got the icon of wrath and my exalted champion has got the brass collar of uh, broadcaster on him I've got 10 cultists and I've got my demon prince with wings wings to be attached and he's got the Unholy Fortitude, which uh, gives him basically that feel no pain ability on sixes on the wounds, I guess. I don't think it's called that, I can't remember. I've got my uh, Forge Fiend, and he's got times two Hades cannons. And then I've got my two Rhinos, um, both with Havoc launchers this time, unlike last time, so I've got a bit more points to play with. And that is my army. Has he got the ectoplasm thing in the mouth? or He, he got has jaws? got an ectoplasm face. He's got an ectoplasm face. Ectoplasm um, face. And it's just worth mentioning that um, in Foresight, Mike, you've actually gone under points um, with this list, yeah? Yeah, well, I'm looking. I've managed... Um, we played a tournament uh, previous Sunday, and I managed to get my beautiful Kaitan painted. So we're going to go up to 1,500 after this one and then 2,000. So I'm trying to skimp sort of 30 points off this one and 30 points off the next one. And then it uh, should hopefully be a reasonably flat 500 when I get to the 2,000 game. Um, then I can bring my Kitan in. Yeah, to, I don't uh, really know how I'm going to kill a Kitan. You're not, mate. He's going to he's gonna murder and slash. And yeah, maybe my demon prince will just kill him. <laughs> he's going to gut and gun you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, we're going to roll off to see if we're going to do a turn of water maelstrom then we'll roll off from the mission we'll roll off from deployment um we'll get set up and we'll come back see you soon bye okay so we have deployed we're doing contact lost maelstrom of war and we had the vanguard deployment so the diagonals so the predator first lot of noise marines the cultists and the sorcerer and the demon prince and the other noise marines here and then Mike has this red cast rhino with the berserkers in, uh, his cultists, his demon prince, his forge fiend, and the other cast rhino with the cast space marines in. Exalted champ's in there as well. Oh, the exalted champion is also in the 
Rhino um, and my obliterators, the Empress Children obliterators are in Deep Strike. So we're going to roll off to see who goes first. Mike is going to get a plus one because he finished going first. Five. He gets a five. And I get a three. So can, I seize, can I seize the initiative on a six? They're not. Yeah. Oh, oh a five. <laughs> Michael to go first. Very happy. So. Well Eaters turn one movement phase. I've done this once already, but I forgot to press record. Uh, here's the Rhino, he advanced up with the Demon Prince following behind. Uh, cultists are kept there just to cover those two objective points. Uh, my Forge Fiend uh, moved up, he just walked up. And I used uh, Blasphemous Machines on him so he didn't get a minus to hit modifier because he's already a four up, so I didn't want to do a five up because that was some pain. And then I moved up my other uh, Chaos Rhino and I advanced this bad boy, but I rolled a 1 on the advance and because I want to get this objective 4, because I have defend objective 4, I had to command reroller. So I'm actually down to com 6 command points now, but hey ho, that is life. Uh, no psychic phase, obviously, because, uh, you know, psychic is uh, psychic. So we're going to move on to World Eater's shooting phase. End of World Eater's shooting phase. Uh, Forge Fiend with Demon Forge spent another champion uh, command point, so I'm down to five. Uh, Demon Forge shot his uh, Ecto face into the Noise Marines, killed one, um, and shot his Hades cannons into that Pred at the back and scored four wounds. So he's down from 11 to 7. Uh, Demon Prince had a little pop shot at these noise marines over here, hit two but didn't score any wounds unfortunately. And both my cursed rhinos popped smoke. Pop and smoke! And that is the end of World Eaters turn one. Okay, Empress Children movement phase, so the Predator and the noise marines stay still. The cultists advance just to try and create a bit of a screen. I did want to try and reach this uh, other objective but I only rolled one on the advance which isn't great. So the Noise Marines and the Dim Prince and the Sorcerer um, just sort of shuffled about a bit. Um, and that is it for the movement phase. So we're going to be going into the Psychic phase. Okay, so the Psychic phase. We attempted to do Prescience on the Predator. It did go off um, on a 9. And then Mike used Broadcaster, the Collar Broadcaster Relic, which... You can deny the witch, and he got a 10, which done D3 mortal wounds to my sorcerer. He's now down to two wounds. Yeah. Um, and the, he attempted to smite on the rhino, it didn't go off, and then the demon prince smited the rhino for two. two. Um, we then fired everything from the predator into the rhino, um, done five wounds with blast cannons and nothing with anything else. And then these guys, one had a shot at the Forge Fiend, nothing happened because it was the only one that was in range and then the Blastmaster fired at this Rhino. Didn't do anything, I don't think. No. Um, and then... So the double ones. Yeah. The, they fired their bolters as well, nothing happened. And then these guys fired in um, and actually did end up doing... The Blastmaster didn't do anything, but the others that actually did do the last final two Ooh, wounds. Um but Mike used the command point to re-roll and re-rolled one of his dice and so he survived with one wound. One wound. One Limping. wound left. <gasps> yeah. So um, that was the end of the Empress Children turn because we're not charging anything. So um, we're going to go into the World Eaters turn two. World Eaters turn to movement phase. Uh, disembark these Chaos Marines and slapped them in here in the building. And there's also one down the bottom there being a cheeky just so I can get this uh, objective four over here. Sorry, we're not blurry then. Moved the Rhino up here and he's within like 0 0.0003 inches of that, um, inches of that uh, objective marker there. Fortune stayed where he was. Uh, cultists again stayed where they were. Uh, this guy ain't doing nothing, but I managed to get a wound back, rolling on his self-repair. And then uh, disembarked my Berserkers and my uh, Exalted Champion, and then moved up my Demon up here. And hope you're going to mess up some cultists over there, all being well. 
Um, and I pulled three objective cards because I had three points and I got uh, area denial, secure objective five and defend objective two. So objective five is there, objective two is there, so yay me. And I've got currently objective four and three as well at the moment. So we'll see how we go. Um, blood for the blood god. So world leaders turn to shooting phase. Uh, okay, space marines. Uh, eight shots went into the bolt guns. Went into the cultists. Uh, I don't think they actually took any out, did they? Yeah, I think it's got two, two out. Two out. Um, and then the heavy bolt gun went into the predator. Uh, didn't do anything, but managed to kill some cultists. Then my Rhino went into the cultists again with the Havoc Launcher and the Combi Balter and took off a couple. My Forge Fiend uh, went into his Hades cannons into the Predator and did another four wounds. And then his Ecto Face went into the Noise Marines and they saved. Saved! Over here, my Rhino again shot into the cultists and he didn't do anything, did he? And then uh, my Berserkers and the Demon Prince again all shot into the cultists, try and clear that screen basically, and murdered. Um, you shot your plasma pistol into the noise marines and killed one. Did I? Yes, I did. Yeah, and then he and shot then I, back I shot and back. killed one of the Berserkers in his death throes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. That's it for a shooty. Now we're going to cutty cutty stage. Idea. Oh, so, this is the idea stage for the Empress Children. Yeah, slice Okay, so um, we're just going to make a short video for the World Eaters charge phase. So the Berserkers charged the cultists and the Noise Marines, and there was gaps in the cultists where Sony had been shot so they could get through to the Noise Marines. The Exotic Champion also charged both, but only ended up getting into the um, cultists. The Demon Prince charged the cultists and the Sorcerer on the st Steed of Sinesh, um, but he didn't make it into the Sorcerer. But the Sorcerer and the Demon Prince both heroically intervened, um, and the Demon Prince is going to pile in, so then he will be able to actually get hit. But because they're Empress Children, we always get to fight first, so basically what's going to happen is Mike will fight first, because he charged, then it will go me, then him, then me, then him, until we're out of uh, fights. And everyone's dead. So it's going to be a pretty uh, pretty cool phase. Okay, so the end of the charge and fight phase for World Eaters. And as you can see, a slightly more thinned out group. So Berserkers, in the first round of fighting, killed off four of the Noise Marines, which then did their musical cacophony. And yeah, music of the apocalypse. That's the one. And um, destroyed my rhino. Because um, they would have only been able to use the pistols against the corn berserkers, so uh, quite a good tactical move there from Patrice. Um, then the other half of my corn berserkers finished off the uh, cultists, and obviously we had the whole heroic intervention cod swallop that happened and down here. Because Slanesh fight fell, Empress Children fight first. That means we sort of had to take it in turn, so I got to then choose one to fight. So I did berserkers first. Then um, Patrick done the sorcerer. sorcerer against my exalted champion and murdered him quite convincingly actually as well, which was a shame. So poor old exalted champ went in there all beefcakey and just got his head ripped off yeah. and his arm eaten. Um, just sliced his head off with my uh, stain. <laughs> so I can see my body. <laughs> He's fly, head fly through the air. Um, Demon Prince didn't do... Oh yeah, he then attacked the Sorcerer and murdered him quite convincingly. You yeah. killed my friend! Yeah, he only had two wounds left and he'd probably done about eight damage to him, so... Yeah, and then I consolidated my Berserkers just to try and get them between all the other enemies so he doesn't murder well, my them. My Demon Prince uh, then fought and killed five of your Berserkers. Oh yeah, he did, didn't he? And then I... And then you killed the last of the noise marines. Killed the last of the, oh yeah, second round of fighting, thank you. Uh, killed the last of the noise marines who took a shot at my demon prince and didn't do anything, did no. you? And then consolidated and here we are. God you damn. Spent, you spent two command points to, Mike spent two command points to auto pass the morale. So he didn't have to roll in case he's going to lose him. So it basically is a good tactical move because he's keeping the, one, he's keeping the demon prince in combat. 
and two, he's stopping being able to shoot at the his demo, his own demon prince. So good move there. So you want to go into cards? I'm knackered after that. That was, <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot to go through. So defend objective two on the right there. Sorry, just get that to focus. Um, got to do that for another second turn. Uh, secure objective five, which I've got, and I've got the aerial denial. And there is no D3. units within 12 inches of the center, so I get um, D3 victory points. That'll be one. Great. Loaded dice, Patrick, loaded dice. Well, I, I, <laughs> considering at the moment, I think that um, you've got about five victory points and I've got none, so you're definitely winning at the minute. Mm -hmm. But we're going to go into Empress Children turn two. Oh, it's going to hurt. Okay. Okay, so we're going into. This is the Emperor Children movement phase. So the only things that moved is we dropped the obliterators in up here, right in the center. See if we can dish out some hurt. Demon Prince has fallen back to here. Um, and then Noise Marines and the Predators stay where they are. I'm pretty thin on the ground now for troops. Um, Mike's definitely got a lot more models on the table, but let's see what I can do. Okay, so after the shooting, um, we shot the four sonic blasters into the berserkers, only took out one. We shot the blast master into the forge fiend, didn't do anything. We then had to shoot the obliterators, two of them, into the berserkers, which killed them. And one of them into the forge fiend and done two wounds. We then shot everything from the predator into the demon prince and only done three wounds. Um, I also forgot to smite. Um, also fired the warp bottle into the berserkers, didn't do anything, but I forgot to smite, which was Silly move. And then I used Ender's Cacophony to fire the obliterators again, but didn't roll very well on their um, things. And only done one more wound on the Forge Fiend. So all in all, not a great round. Um, I think I'm probably going to lose my Demon Prince now. Um, actually, I just thought you've got six up for no planes on your Demon Prince. Should I do that? Yeah. We'll do it on camera. It's a uh, three. <laughs> No, no. So it remains the same, um, and <coughs> I didn't get hold the line either. So Mike is leading on five victory points to zero. Um, so we're going to go into World Eaters turn three. World Eaters turn three movement phase. I'll just go through my cards first. So I've got uh, secure objective four, claim and despoil, which is it's got a victory points if you have an objective marker that. Was control for your opponent, which I'm not going to be able to do. Secure objective two and psychological warfare where they have to fail morale test. I've already got number four, I've already got number two, so that's two easy victory points again. I'm currently sitting on seven. Movement wise, Space Marines stayed where they were, uh, Demon Force stayed where it was, Cultists stayed where they were, uh, Demon Prince for the Battle of the Ages just turned around and went, What up? So he's gonna, they're going to have an epic battle over there. I think we'll probably record that one. Yeah, yeah. And then I just moved my rhino up to there just to, he, he's engaged ramming speed. And we're going to have an epic battle there. Um, <laughs> they're just going to dunk, dunk. <laughs> yeah, you're just going to stop him shooting, which is good. <laughs> and that's it for the moment. So we'll be back after shooting phase. World Eaters, turn three, shooting phase. Very disappointing. Uh, Forge Fiend with Demon Forge shot into the Predator with his Hades cannons and scored two wins. Nice save. Saved them all. Saved them both. He was only on three. Uh, he did his Ecto face into the um, Obliterators and scored two wounds, putting one of them down to one. I did uh, the Chaos Space Marines all into the Obliterators with the heavy bolt gun. Uh, bolt plasma pistol was unfortunately about half an inch out of range. If I'd have just moved that guy to there, would have been fine. Damn it. And did nothing. And the cultist um, had a good go, but again, did nothing. Uh, again, they went into the oblets. Um, I'm going to fire my warp bolter into the demon prince now. And that's um, two up, salt two. And I've got re -rolls. and re rolling ones. Because boost. Yeah. Two hits. And then wounding on five. Five. I got five and a two. That's minus two AP. Um, cheeky wounds. So minus two, so it's a five up. Yep. And a six up for no pain. 
Nope. So he goes down, he's down to eight or seven or whatever he's down. Eight. So you got nine wounds? Yeah, because he has only fortitude, same as you've got. But that put me up to eight from seven. I thought Dean would have seven, eight wounds. We'll double check that. <laughs> And that is the end of shooting phase. So now it's um, part of charging McCharge in the face, kill the demon prince phase. Bleed it. So uh, we're going to resolve these attacks. Mike has charged his corn demon prince into my Sonesh demon prince. Um, it's the seems to be the battle of the slow grow between the princes. Um, the first one I won, second one you won. Just so we're going to see what happens here. Um, Mike's is on six wounds, mine is on eight wounds. He's got six, five attacks or six attacks? Six attacks. Six attacks because he charged. What's the extra one for? I've got five attacks base. Right. I get an extra attack because he's. You charged in and he's charged in. Well leaders. And a Demon Prince of Corn increases attacks characteristic by one. Cool. So that's six. Seven. Six attacks. So he. Hello, my friend, we meet again. <laughs> uh, so two zaps. Ooh, what's that? Rerolling ones. Rerolling ones. Yes. Oh dear. All in. And that's straight for seven. Toughness Number six. six. Just three. Three. Oh no, I needed that to be good. And it's not too bad. Two twos. So that's minus two AP. So that is two five up. Three five ups, is it? You're four. Four five ups. Four five ups. Oh dear. And what's the damage on this? Uh, that is three apiece. Yeah, this is not going to be good. Need some five ups. Come, 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 come. Die, die, die. Oh, there's only two. We got two. Five so ups. Six feel. Six feel no pain. Shit. So need some sixes as well. To keep them alive. We got one. one. One six. Okay, so he is down to three wounds. That's five wounds gone through, yeah. So he's down to three wounds, we're gonna do the attack back. Just, uh, I'm just gonna get the dice ready. Okay, so we're gonna do the eight attacks back from the Malefic Talons from the Sinesh Demon Prince. Um, we're hitting on twos, we roll once. We don't have any ones. And then we are um, strength eight, toughness six, so threes. We've dropped two there. Oh dear. But we have six that have gone through. So that's six at minus two. Mike's gonna roll the green dice. Five ups. Five ups. What's the damage on those? Two damage each. Oh, I could still live. You could. So that wasn't. So you got two. So that was six. four. Four gone through. Four, so what? Eight. That's eight damage. So six, seven, eight. I need a lot of sixes here. Come on, my friend. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. You need more than two. Just the one. Oh, no. The Demon Prince of Corn is dead. Oh, the Celestial sure Demon Prince. He's not dead. He's just running away for another day. He's, re he's retreating back to the warp. <laughs> awesome. Well, the Sinesh Demon Prince wins this one. Okay, end of World Eaters, turn three. See what cards I got. I got the Secure Objective 4 for another one. Uh, claim and Despoil, which I didn't get. Scroll Objective 2, which I did, and I didn't get the Psychological Warfare. And that is the end so of World Eaters. So you two points, yeah? Yeah, so it puts me up to nine. That's nine points to zero. Oh no, I just got to stay in the Warlord, I got a point. Yay! Yay! Right. Peace out. Okay, Empress Children movement phase. The Predator has dropped out of combat with the Rhino. The Demon Prince has moved up here. I got one card, which is Secure Objective 1, which is pretty far away, so I'm not going to get that. Um, so we're going to go into the shooting phase. The Obliterators have stayed where they are, and so have the uh, Noise Marines. So we're going to go into the shooting phase um, for turn three. So we're doing the uh, Empress Children shooting and movement. So um, shooting wise, we kill one Chaos Space Marine with the Noise Marines that are here. And then the Obliterators have done Veterans of the Long War. Obliterators. Obliterators. They fired into the Forge Fiend, took him down to four wounds. Then they used the Endoscacophony and fired again. 
and took him down to zero wounds and he died. He didn't explode. Um, we then used stuff. We charged the Noise Marines and the Demon Prince into the Rhino. Um, noise Marines done one wound, Demon Prince done four wounds, and he's now down to five. Um, it's not ideal, I was hoping to kill him, but, you know, worst things can happen. Um, I did get hold the line for one command, uh, one victory point, so I've now got two victory points to Michael's nine. Yay. So we're gonna go into World Eaters turn four. World Eaters turn four. Pulled, I hold three objectives. So pulled out three new cards. Got the long war. No prisoners and hold the line. Unlikely to get any of those, unfortunately. All those, so where is to me? Movement phase, I did this guy. Moved from there to there. And then that is it. Cultists stayed where they were. They stayed where they were. Uh, Rhino's just gonna, <laughs> where well, he's just all, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> sitting in the back. <laughs> is someone gonna die? And that's about it, really. So um, check you out after the shooting and fight phase. Right, end of turn four. World Eaters uh, shooting and fight phase. Shot um, supercharged plasma pistol into the obliterator. So I'm pointing at it, not facing the camera, and uh, did nothing. And the rest of the heavy bolt, uh, the bolt guns fired and did nothing. The cultists fired and did nothing into the obliterators. The rhino didn't even get didn't even get a he whiffing because the Selenesh fight first and yeah, uh, they just blew him up and rolled to see if he exploded, rolled a two unfortunately. We did record it but I doubt I'll get it in our written because nothing happened, so it's pants. Um your turn four. Okay, infantry children, movement phase. We've moved the noise marines up to here. We've moved the demon prince up. The blitter raiders have stayed and the predator has stayed. I'm going to remember to use <laughs> smite this time because I've been, I forgot a couple of times. Mike did let me go back once and it didn't go off anyway. Um, so we're going to go into the psychic phase. <laughs> Okay, so after the shooting phase, um, we shot every, we shot the Predator, shot all of them, the Noise Marines, they're all dead, and the Demon Prince into the into the Space Marines, and we took out six. We then shot the Obliterators into the Cultists, took out seven of them. We then used Endless Cacophony on the Obliterators, shot one more into the Cultists and two into the Space Marines. We took the rest of the Cultists out, and the Space Marines are down to one. They have lost eight. So I can't pass, can I? You can't pass morale. <laughs> so we're not going to go into the fight. See you <laughs> the cookout. We're not going to go into the fight phase because he would run anyway, um, and he's got no command points, so he can't auto pass. Um, oh, I wish I could. <laughs> that would be great. We'll go into uh, our post game chat and we'll have a chat about the the, the events. So post game chat. Um, it was, it was very, very up and down that then. I thought I had it. Yeah. Really. I thought I had it. As soon as I was like nine victory points to two. nil point or yeah. two. Yeah, I got two back because I got one for Stay the Warlord. So, and then I got um, one for Hold the Line. Um, so yeah, it was nine victory points to two. You had more, a load more cards. You would have got a load more um, victory points. There was no way I would have won it um, through victory points. I knew the only way to win it was to table. Mike, and it was ended up being Battle of the Demon Battle Princes. Battle of the Demon Princes again. It yeah. was really, as soon as my Demon Prince died, I was like, oh no, I'm going to lose this. It would literally, it, it just changed the whole game because I could go back, handle the Rhino, which I wouldn't have been able to do because the Predator had to drop out and wouldn't, couldn't shoot and the noise means wouldn't have taken out the Rhino. Um, so... Basically, my predator would have been null and void for the rest of the game because of the Rhino. Um, and it would have left me with... I mean, the Obliterators also... The Obliterators were They were good. good. They were good. Because I had to focus a lot of fire on those. Yeah. And with them being in the cover like they were and that two up. Yeah. Um, I had... N I was shooting at them. They were just like... Because even with the Heavy Bolter, it ended up being two up because I was in the cover. 
Mm. Um, the plasma pistol nearly got through, but I managed to save it. Yeah. Um, and once the forge fiend had gone, you then didn't have much firepower to, to deal with. No, them. it was only my, my ecto face, wasn't it? That yeah. was really the only thing that could that actually do any damage to him up in yeah. the corner there. Unless I got lucky, but you just rolled no ones from about 40 dice. Yeah. I don't think there was any I done very, very well on that. Um, and then the endless cacophony where I get to shoot twice with the obliterator yeah. was huge. That I one thought it was a bit harsh, mate. When... My cultists were down to three. <laughs> and your <laughs> space marines were down to what? Three? They were down, no, they were, yeah, they were down to three. Yeah, they were down to three. Yeah. And they were just all sitting there. It's just like, we call it that. And then, he's going to shoot again. <laughs> yeah, endless cacophony, bang. Uh, to be honest, they probably all would have run to morale. That's what I was thinking. Just yeah. let him get away, man. But I thought, sake. I've got two command points. They're sealed the deal. <laughs> Um, <laughs> ruthless so yeah the cult was still died and then we took the space marines down another two and it ended at it, you would have just run to morale I had my one guy there my yeah. one space marine with his, with his plasma pistol and his chainsaw and he was like hello <laughs> hello <laughs> and he saw the demon prince looking up at him and he was like yeah I'm off see ya he was gone um, he was but gone. yeah again the demon prince battle was very changed because I think if you'd killed my demon prince yeah. then you would have been able to deal with the obliterators because yeah. he wouldn't have been the closest. And by the time you would have flown up there, then charged, my obliterators would have then died to the Demon Prince, I, I feel. Um, and I would have been in a whole world of pain. So it would have left me with noise marines and a predator that, and the predator basically couldn't shoot. Yeah. So it was definitely that battle that was the changing point. Also, the fact that I got to shoot twice to the obliterators every turn they were on made a huge difference. Um, and, I, and I pretty much saved my command yeah, you got some that. good uh, strength AP and damage rolls on the, yeah. on the obliterators yeah, well, that, I think you got a couple of couple of whiffs but yeah. um, most of the time it was sort of 3 damage minus 3 AP yeah. and then the strength sort of 7 or 8 fluctuated but that so, wasn't really as much a factor the strength was it you really, it was no, more AP and that damage yeah. that you needed so it worked out really really well um, sort of and the old vet veterans of the long war as well um, I used that on one turn which gave him the plus one wound um, and that was the, actually the time that I rolled the seven think, um, strength so got that extra uh, wounded on threes anyway so against the four strings so it was good but yeah, it was a really, uh, really good game. I yeah, it was a good game. Mike, game. I thought Mike was going to win it the whole I thought whole I was going to win it the whole way through. Yeah, and, and then, then just bang, change. Just Battle like of the Demons. Yeah, um, so this means Mike gets another two command points towards the 2,000 point game. So now he's got four command points. I have zero because um, we drew the second game. So yeah, we're going to go... Um, so we're going to do the 1,500 point battle next so you're going to see the armies increase more than you have done so far um and so that should be quite cool so we're going to do the 1500 point and then we're going to go to the 2000 point um game uh yeah uh like i say check the links in the description for the other battles if you haven't seen um one and two um and um if you're watching this after four and five come out then the links will be in there as well um, but please like and subscribe to watch more videos from the Banana for Scale Wargaming team. Um, Thank out. you very much. Thanks for watching. Bye.